are back with the Oldham Athletic Save. It's been, what, two weeks since a video came out. I'm so, so sorry about that. We've had illnesses with the kids in the house, so it's just been impossible to, uh, to dedicate some time to doing this, which is really, really annoying uh, because I've been desperate to play this save. Uh, I reckon that two weeks has actually probably cost me virtually a whole season. Um, I reckon we'd be virtually at the end of this first season by now, but uh, never mind. Um, the last episode, as far back as it was, if you haven't watched it, go back and have a look. Uh, again, it's a new series relatively now, it's only episode four. So if you are just joining the channel, uh, subscribe and uh, then, you know, like this video, turn on your notifications, things like that. Jump in the description in the comments and all that good YouTube stuff. Uh, the last episode, way back when, was when we played Maidenhead and Curzon Ashton. Uh, Curzon, obviously, in the FA Cup. Uh, the FA Cup first round draw is um, is done and we are playing Bristol Rovers away. And that is the second match on today's episode. And of course, before that, as you can see, we are at home to Barnet, who are 14th in the league. So since the, uh, the FA Cup win, we've, we've been a little bit patchy. Um, well, it depends how you look at it really, isn't it? Because we've only won one in four, but we've only lost one in four. So we had a 2-2 draw with... Uh, Yeovil Town, uh, 92nd minute Marcus Madison goal got us that point. A 2-0 defeat away at Altrincham was very, very poor. Uh, a 0-0 uh, at the Shea against Halifax, which I was quite happy with, even though Halifax are struggling. Um, it was I was quite happy with that. And then we beat Gateshead 3-1, who I think were top or second when we beat them. A, a Charlie Caton hat-trick, which I was absolutely delighted with. I really started to like this guy. He's out. He's on loan from Shrewsbury, but he's out of contract at the end of the season. And I am thinking that I'm I might try and get him for the next, um, you know, get him on a free at the end of the season. Uh, we have got a player in uh, on a free since the uh, last episode. I've just got to find him. He's injured at the minute though. But it's this guy, Naya Kirby. Now I quite like the look of him. He was at Crystal Palace. He was on the unattached list. Uh, Jason Lutweiler's going back to Canada. I think that was covered in the last episode. So his wages have gone off the. Um, off, and we've got oh, and we've got some loan players that finish on New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and they're not they're not renewing. They have no interest in renewing. So we've got a lot of wages uh, in the budget. Uh, when you look at the committed spending, we're what seventeen hundred a week under. Uh, that's because we've got like I think three players going back which is worrying because they're three big players. But I, this guy looked really, really good. Uh, you know, he's four star, three and a half star and everything. I just, yeah, I'm really, really happy to have him in. I think, yeah, he's got a 375 grand release clause for clubs in a higher domestic division. But I'm not really worried about that. If we get 375 grand, I'll be happy with that. I really will. Um, we are taking on Bristol, uh, sorry, Barnet first, isn't it? Barnet, who are currently sat below us, but they're only two points below us. We've started building ourselves up towards a playoff push, which is really, really good. But those couple of draws and a defeat, they have hurt us a little bit as well. Uh, I think I might have changed tactics since we last, uh, since you last saw us. Um, I'm just getting really, really annoyed. Um, oh no, no, we did, we did do this, didn't we? We did have the 4-4-2 diamond last time. No, I do remember that now. Uh, so yeah, this is this is what we're going with. Um, I'm quite liking it, although in my Argentina uh, Argentina save on the Estudiante side, I've got a uh, I've got like a 4-3-3 going on, which is going quite well, and I'm tempted to plug it in, um, but we'll see. Oh, I forgot it's only five substitutes. Uh, <laughs> don't like that. Right, it is Barney. This, I mean. This is the match that we've got to prioritise, quite frankly, over the two of them. I hope we go to Bristol Rovers and win. We need the money. The upset would be great. Uh, bringing them back to Boundary Park would be ideal. Um, but they're a League One team. They are struggling in League One. We will have a look at them before we get to the game. Uh, but this this is the bread and butter. This could potentially put us very, very well. Maybe we could even get into the uh, into the playoff places. Uh, I'm not sure. Ooh, Hallam Hope. I'm not looking happy with that, are you? Um, Trusted to make the difference, make me proud. Wow, I still look stressed. They're, uh, they're a bit ambitious with their boundary part there. I'm, I'm not an Oldham fan, but I'm guessing they don't have a massive 50-foot screen in the corner of the ground. It's just a, um, just a hunch. 
right, we're away. Um, the um, the Bristol Rovers game actually initially got postponed, which is why we're playing in midweek now. It, it initially got postponed due to a waterlogged pitch. Um, oh, I thought that was in. I thought we were a goal down after 20 seconds there. Uh, uh, so that's why it's been moved, and I think we've played a couple of games now that I wasn't expecting to have played in um, in the build-up to this episode. But uh, yeah, I kind of forgot that postponements are going to be a thing, aren't they? They're going to be a thing in the in this at this level. Right, I've got possession now, Norman to Clark. I've got to get used to this tactic again now. Oh. Defensive header missed, Hallam Hope went early. And probably shouldn't have done. <laughs> um, that's alright though, come on boys. Caton, Roberts, Walker, holds on. And thumps it long. Don't you miss your header, you have. Oh, you should have had that, oh, what? Well done, Magnus. Good save. Poor defending. But we're in National League, we're not Premier League, are we? So... It's to be expected, I guess. As Hope heads that one away, having your target man on the near post is always a good idea. And there's an offside there. Have you been enjoying the World Cup as well? Let me know. Um, I'm recording this on... Let me have a look at the date. It is Thursday. Oh, it's the 1st of December. Happy Advent. Uh, hopefully the day that comes out. Um, so, yeah, England safely through. Taking on Senegal on Sunday. Let me know in the comments how you think we're going to get on in that. And if you've been enjoying it, have you been watching it? I know a lot of people are, are not watching it. Uh, I am, because it's football, and uh, obviously I'm going to watch it. Uh, this is not a good performance, boys. Really, it's not a good performance. Oh, and I think we're going to be a goal down here. 20 yards out. Yeah, oh. <laughs> wow, he smashed that in. I mean, that didn't look like it went over the wall. Oh, it did, but how has it got over you? You're huge at the end of the... Oh. I mean, they deserve to be in front. I am really, really not happy with this. I'm going to berate them. Well, we've not even had a shot on goal yet. We've, we're Barnet, of course, go above us if they win. And they're just killing us. Okay, let's see what's going on here then. Clark goes long for Hope. He's beaten in the air. Okay, cleared away. It's aimless. He's absolutely aimless at the minute. Come on. Goes long. Hope has it now. That's better. Played in for Caton. Oh, yes. Come on. Charlie Caton. I think he's the first hero of the save. I think he's our first Oldham hero. I really, 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 even if we're in League Two, I think this kid will do a job. And I really want to get him. It's a brilliant finish, isn't it? Super, super finish. Great ball through from Hallam Hope. That's more like it, lads. First shot. Oh, dear. That would be really, really pissing me off if that was the other way around. If you've watched my videos, you know how much it annoys me when the opposition score. Oh, that's going to be offside I think Caton knew it I think Charlie knew it that's why he didn't bother putting it in well I mean they've had more shots but their XG is lower than ours so um, disappointed with the quality of our passing okay that that sounds quite good actually I'm quite happy with that when I signed Marcus Madison as well right when I showed him to you, his physicals were crap, but he plays 90 minutes every game. And he's barely going down. I mean, it's maybe because he's not running. Oh, he puts these free kicks, no matter where they are on the pitch, he puts them on target every time. He's, he's, he's unbelievable at them. He really is. And they're always in the top corner. Uh, we've got the hour mark. Oh, both our centre-backs are looking knackered. So, uh, this, this is hard now. This is really, really hard. What do I do here? Right, I'm going to take Hogan off. 
suppose I could take Roberts off for for him as well. I don't particularly like it, but both centre backs off. There's not really a lot else I can do there. And John Rooney for Lois Maynard as well is the other one. It's a triple change. I'm really not happy about it. I don't like doing it. I don't like it's only three from five. Why National League? Why? Why is it only three from five? I get you don't want squads to be ridiculously big, but surely it could be five from seven or something like that. Here's Caton. He's in. He's in. He's in. Oh, it's a great save. It's a great save. Come on, boys. Come on. See what happens here, and I'm going to encourage. We've come out a little bit now. Whoop. Wow, you're wasting time here, Marcus. What are you doing? I couldn't nearly call him James. If it was James Madison, that would have been a signing, wouldn't it? Right, encourage. We've started to play a little better now, but they're still racking up the shots. Come on. 12 minutes to go. A draw's not terrible, but it's... It's the um, ah, it's the run of form at the minute. It's not good. This will be what the third draw in four or five matches. But looking at the stats, I'd take it. Drop a little demand more. Can we just get a chance? No. Okay, but I'm not terribly unhappy with that. The way the games are. I mean, look at the XG on both teams massive I'm not unhappy with that um, it's always good to get a result when you I'm not gonna I'm not gonna break it's not like we've had one shot and goal and score we've been outshot but it's, it's not the worst performance it's not the worst result it's not great going into Bristol Rovers but it's not horrific we're 11th, we're only three points off the playoffs. We're not even halfway through the season yet. It's not that bad. Uh, right, let's get on the road and let's head down to Bristol. So we've got quite a lot of replays going on as well. As I say, our game was initially postponed. Uh, so, I mean, it, it's not going to go to a replay, is it? Uh, but you never know. Uh, we have had some bad news, unfortunately, in that Marcus Madison has picked up an injury and he is out for about four weeks now. Uh, good news is Naya Kirby is back and he starts for us. Uh, so very, very happy with that. John Rooney's moved forward to play in the, um, the advanced role. Uh, Mike Fondop has come in as well. So, yeah, it's, it's all right. We've made a couple of other changes. Nathan Sharon's come in as well. I think that's it, actually. Um, what I was going to show you is the three players I said, didn't I, that were going back to their clubs are Mitchell Roberts, uh, Oscar Threlkeld, and Charlie Wellens. Um, they're on like 2,800 quid a week between them. And um, none of them, when you go in to uh, re, uh, make another offer for them, their clubs are just like, yeah, he needs to go somewhere else and play. So... Unfortunately, it is what it is. Um, but if you look at the squad while we're in here, all the way down to Tom Davies here, who, to be fair, is actually on loan with us. But in terms of our players, all the way down to Mike Fondop, who we have just transfer listed as well because he's on 700 quid a week. And I'm going to try and get some money for him in January if I can. Um, and not January, it's March. It's March, the uh, transfer window in non-league. There is no January transfer window. It's March. Um, but I'm going to try and get rid of him if I can. But all the way down here massive massive list of contracts expiring so it's going to be uh, one of those where um, next season the squad's going to be a bit different than it is well very very different to what it is now uh, so our league one hosts are currently 17th they are six points above the uh, the relegation zone though at the minute so they're not they're not really massive danger you wouldn't have said they're in a relegation battle just yet they're teetering on the edge aren't they but um, yeah, they are not great. Five wins, five draws out of their 18 games. Let's have a look, see if there's any players that we recognise. Anyone who's scoring a goal. So Josh Coburn is scoring goals. He's on loan from Middlesbrough. He's got six in the league and a couple in the League Cup. So he's doing all right for them, isn't he? He's doing all right. We've got Harry Anderson, who has got four. 
plays as a winger. Although they've got him at right back there by the look of it. Ashley Phillips must be in on loan. They've not got many great players in terms of ratings. And their keeper with a decent rating is on the bench here, which is weird. Um, right. Oh, I think we'll have... Will it be seven... I think it'll be seven uh, seven subs we can have, won't it? So, what have we got on the bench at the minute? We've got two centre-backs, mid two midfielders, and a striker. So, we will have... Uh, Jordan Windass, because he can cover all along the back. And we'll have Charlie Cooper. Oh, it could be nine. Nine. Okay, how... Oh, Luke Burgess as well, because he can cover for John Rooney. And... Guess um, maybe Lewis Bryan because I don't think he's played for us since he signed. So maybe get him in. Uh, is it? Let me just double check. You'll probably know this because you probably played. A, is it three from nine? Five from nine. Five from nine and one in extra time, which obviously isn't going to be a thing. Oh, extra time played. He scores a level after ninety. In the first round, is it really? Okay, so, but it's, but those other games have gone to replays, so I don't really get that. Oh, look at that! Tom Davies isn't starting this game; he's not fit enough. We'll get to the game eventually. Don't worry, we'll get there. Uh, Francis Angle can come in at left back. Um, yep, I'm happy with that. Actually, should we have a keeper on the bench? Probably should, shouldn't we? Even though he's leaving the club, we probably should have keeper on the bench. Lewis Bryan can wear number 31 because it's the next available number. Right, I mean I've gone with this four, this diamond. Um, I mean we might as well go and uh, try and have a little bit of a go, mind we? I mean they're not running away with League One if they were really top of League One. Joey Barton's a Bristol Rovers manager. Uh, I, I, look, it's, it's just one of those, isn't it? There's no pressure on us. Let's just see what we can do. Let's just go for it, boys. Let's see. Just have fun. See if you can do it. There's a 4-2-3-1 from Bristol Rovers. I mean, if we get out of here with a credit creditable performance... I mean, a, a draw would be incredible for the finances because there's a chance that the... Uh, well, we'd probably be the only replay. Unless... Maybe... Is it because... I mean, we, surely it goes to a replay if it's a draw. When that would be played, I don't know. But is it because it got postponed? Maybe we have to go to extra time? I don't know. Probably not going to need to find out because it's probably not going to happen. But Rooney's put that in. Oh, Hogan with a free header and an open goal. And you cannot miss chances like that. Free header, open goal and a point zero seven on the XG chart. Brilliant. We've got to 25 minutes. And that's a great save from Magnus Norman. He, I think, it might be our second hero of the save. He's up there at the minute. He's made some incredible saves for us. I, I'll be honest, I don't actually know whether I'd rather go out here or get to the second round and have that little tease of a third round tie and then lose in the second round. Um, but look, you get through, you take it, don't you? No problem there. But we're not going to do anything while we're not attacking. We've got a positive mentality, but we're not. We're not really. Even the game against Barnet, we didn't create that many chances we didn't have more sh you know we had less shots than them so what is wrong with the positive mentality why is it not working uh, you've done nothing wrong I think and Mike Fondoff he's not being oh, still still not looking happy right I'm going to change it to balanced and I'm going to bring Liam Hogan off for Harrison McGee at half time because that doesn't count as one of your um, windows does it I think I've still got three windows where I can make changes right uh, demand more 
did not go down well. Got some really poor performances at the minute. If I was, I mean, if I was playing really defensive, I could understand. Oh, is he off? He is, he's off. They're down to 10. Oh my word. But we're playing, we're playing a diamond. We're playing, trying to get forward. And we've, we're not doing anything. We've had that one header. Oh, we've had another shot look. I don't understand why it's not, why it's not creating any chances. Um, I suppose Jordan Windass on for Mitchell Roberts. Not liking that. Uh, I mean, it's, it's tough to know who to bring off because they've all been shit. <laughs> so, I mean, we've got a couple of 6.4s in here. Maybe we go Hallam Hope because I've transfer listed, uh, as I said, I've transfer listed Fondo. And I think it's killed him. <laughs> I think he's just giving it up now. John Rooney's having a stinker. Oh, I was going to encourage, but we'll see what happens here. Headed away. Come on, no, they're going to score here. Ah, oh, I knew it. No, he's offside, he's offside, he's offside. The lino's got his flag up, he's offside. <laughs> oh, I did not think this was offside. I am really surprised by that. He is, his right foot is, his right leg was off. Come on, boys. Right, we will encourage now, and I can make another couple of subs. Right, we've got some really knackered players here. Two more I can make. Charlie Cooper on for Threlkeld. Charlie Wellens off for Lois Maynard. And that will be it. Ten minutes to go. I mean, they've been by far the better team, but they've not really created an awful lot, have they? But they will probably feel like they should be ahead. But maybe, just maybe, Kirby thought that was going to go in for Caton there. Although I think he might have been offside. They're going to, they're going to grab it here. Oh, this is going to be heartbreak. Oh no, we're down to ten. Oh, god damn it! That's my first red card on FM23. And I think we're just, he's going to have to go to a back three. That's all. That's all I can do here. Get over there. He's going to have to go to a back three because they are all centre backs by trade. Uh, have we are we set to wide? No, fairly narrow. That's okay then. <laughs> oh God. Well, hopefully it's only for a couple of minutes. I'm hoping it doesn't suddenly go into extra time. We'll encourage, but we're going to concede here. Are oh, you mother? No! 90th minute. Oh, lads. Oh, it's a heartbreak. What a run in from the edge of the boxer from Gibson. And he has taken everything there. Ah, oh, that is, that, that just, that hurts. Oh my God, that hurts. I mean, I, if we had, t if we had 11 men, I'd be able to push everyone forward. There's not really an awful lot I can do there. Let's just go really direct. Let's shoot on sight. Let's just, let's take that off. Oh, let's just try and get them. Let's just try and get one chance. Come on. Oh, we're going to go 2-0 down. Oh, they do deserve to win. Oh, he's fired it over. Come on, give us one chance. <gasps> what? What was that? Oh, it's all over. Gutted, boys. Gutted. I mean, they really did deserve it. Uh, I'm just going to say I'm proud of your efforts. I, 
I mean, they, they are, uh, what are they, 17, so, I mean, they're, what, 40 odd places above us in the league, tape, in the league structure, can't really, can't really say that, it's a, oh, it's the fact that beat us in the 90th, that just, no, 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 that hurts, oh my god, that hurts. Oh, that's really, 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 really frustrating. Oh, well, no worries. No worries. It's a poor run of form that we're in, though, at the minute. One winning six in all competitions. Got a few big league games coming up. The FA Trophy, not sure yet, because I don't know who we'll get. Um, I might leave that and come back to it. Look at that. We're playing Notts County, home and away over Christmas and New Year. Is that our localist derby? Really? We've got Halifax in there, we've got York, and you're giving us not Sodding County. We've got Wrexham, for God's sake. We could have played Wrexham, home and away, and we're doing Notts County. Um, maybe we'll do that. We'll see, we'll see. I'll be back soon. Anyway, thank you so much, and again, apologies for the, uh, the, the two-week gap. It couldn't be helped. Um, but as always, smash a like on this, uh, hit subscribe, turn on those notifications. As I said earlier, jump in the uh, description for, for links to the Argentina uh, series and uh, the my Twitter and stuff and yeah I'll see you soon thanks for watching bye bye.